I'm Natalie from the Early Learning Coalition of Flagler and Volusia. And today, in honor of Martin Luther King Jr. and his speech, I Have a Dream, we will discuss dreams and how we can promote sweet dreams. So what are dreams? Some doctors define dreams as brain activity. In that case, even newborns dreams. Other specialists describe dreams as thoughts, emotion, images. In that case, dreams usually ap uh, appear when children are three. At that age, dreams can be quite scary as children do not know what is real from what is not. So how can you promote sweet dreams? Routine, routine, routine. Children thrive on routine and it is essential that you implement the routine consistently. When you design a routine that fits your child and your family, you may consider the following tips. One, screens. Screens should be turned off half an hour to an hour and a half from the bedtime. And of course, no scary movies before bedtime. Two, dinner time. Meals should be ideally two hours prior to bedtime so that digestion doesn't interfere with falling asleep. Three relaxing activities. Offering bath, bath time, water is always soothing to children, reading bedtime stories, listening to soothing music, having a cuddling gratitude discussion. Four, having a set bedtime that allows enough sleep hours for your child. Five, dimming the lights and using a whispering voice sends cues to your child that it is time to relax. And six, offering some control to your child so that he's, he or she is more likely to follow the routine. Control is often choices such as would you like to wear the Spider-Man pyjama or the green pyjama. Two choices um, are enough. When you go over to it can be overwhelming. You can also offer would you like to br brush your teeth with a timer or without it. Seven, a sense of security. Nighttime can sometimes trigger an anxiety in some children. So having a nightlight or leaving the door open may assist and if your child is old enough, meaning over the age of one, you can also offer a security blanket or a special stuffed animal. So these are just a few tips to consider when you're designing your bedtime routine. If you would like more information about children's sleep or have any question about child development, feel free to contact the Early Learning Coalition at 386-323-2400. Until next time, sweet dreams!